Most of us, no matter what we say, are walking in the dark, whistling in the dark. Nobody knows what is going to happen to him from one moment to the next, or how one will bear it. Darkness is a theme we often explore in art. And despite, or perhaps because of, their lack of color, they carry a level of sophistication, seriousness, and emotional depth. Indian art is so often associated with violent vibrancy, bright colors in endless chorus. But the images that you just saw are works that we've shown here on On Art, black and white works by both contemporary and heritage artists. In the midst of these demonetization developments, we've been talking a lot about black and white, white money, white hat politicians. It's implicitly considered good. Then there's black money in the black market. Conventional wisdom tells us it's something to be ashamed of. So come along as we meet artists who tell us about what it means to work in black and white. We'll share some upcoming events happening in the art world with you, and we'll hear a word from Mojarto.com. This is On Art. Art, says photographer Roger Ballin, is not just black and white. There are a lot of grays in between. The legendary photographer recently showed his work at Goa Sunaparanta Center for the Arts, and we explored how they provoke, unsettle, and inspire. <coughs> Photography, it seems, has its limits because one must capture what exists before us. But legendary artist Roger Ballin was never tied down by that. The New York-based photographer has been making images for more than five decades, creating works that cull the depths of our unconscious. He aims to help viewers of his images come to terms with the unknown parts of their psyche, which, he says, heavily influence our behavior. Done. The works do not quite look like they're actually photographs, and his method is dark and complicated. Often, the subjects of his works are certain outcast images and elements of society. Make a monkey face. In fact, that was how curator Siddharth Sanghvi and Roger Ballin came to become friends. I took him shopping for rat cages in Mapsa Market and we really hit it off because rats, birds are a primary theme in some of the works in Asylum of the Birds, which we're actually showing right up here. Actually, his work for me is very sublime. There's a lot of grace in it. And it is always looking at that conflicted line between what we call sanity and the construct of insanity. Dattaraj Salgankar is the chairman of Sunaparanta Center for the Arts, where the exhibition was held. We take our chances, we want to push the envelope, and we want to bring cutting-edge artists into Goa to show what art in the next century is about. His art defines, in a way, photography with drawings. And now he's got videos along with that. It's a different metaphor to probe into the mind. He's a world-class artist, in the true sense of the word, and he makes such a meaningful contribution to the human mind and art. We are delighted to have him. Here, Roger Ballin's new collection, called Theatre of Apparitions, saw its international debut. This new body of work, they're really just things plucked out of his dreams. They're dreamscapes, they're sort of spirit beings that he's been able to capture. And I think with Theatre of Apparitions, he's been able to master something of what I think of as the inverted photograph, of when the photographer is taking images out of his consciousness and his psyche, and being able to bring them out and, and, and as physical objects. So it's actually a psychological object that he's been able to frame. I think I'm very grateful to him for that lens.
Roger Ballin's Theater of Apparitions is full of scenes that provoke and sometimes elicit discomfort. In some works, distressed eyes look out at you. Humans have sex with angels. Decapitated heads float in space. At the opening, we met a psychoanalyst based in Goa. Naturally, he had much to say about the exhibition. As a psychoanalyst, what I look for in art is not all these things of technique and color and form and etc. All that is not important to me, but the emotions which they... There isn't too much laughter in his emotions, so if you're looking for laughter, I don't think Roger Balance is your one. On my way to the asylum house, I'll often stop at witch doctor markets, scrap yards and pawn shops at various corners of the city in search of odds and ends that I can use in my photographs or provide for those in need. Asylum of the Birds, an older show of Balance, was also on display. Hi, where are you? Oh. The series of images are a foray into the surrealty of our everyday and the contradictions we internalize. Archetypal symbols from the deeper levels of the human subconscious pervade my photographs. This place is untamable. It has its own rules and functions according to its own laws. When I create photographs, I often travel deep into my own interior, a place where dreams and many of my images originate. I see my photographs as mirrors, reflectors, connectors that challenge the mind. The significance of the birds for Roger Ballin has always been is that uh, they're mythic connectors between uh, the world of the living and the world of the dead. But in his photographs particularly, they bridge the gap between the world of the sane and the perceived insane. So you have, you know, like a young child with a pigeon um, in, in their mouth. Um, and it's very disturbing, but it wouldn't be disturbing if it was actually just a piece of chicken that was on your plate. There it goes, there it goes. And that might there be true, goes. because despite the monochromatic nature of his photographs, Art is, as Roger Ballin says, not simply black and white. There are lots of grays in between. The light comes from the dark. You can see Roger Ballin's works at Goa Sunaparanta Center for the Arts until mid-December. Can't make it there? Here are some other upcoming events happening in the art world across the country. Delhi, head to Koj International Artists Association to see a group show called Experience House, featuring some of the country's eminent artists. Here, a series of interactive multidisciplinary performances will allow the audience to engage as an actor and an artistic collaborator. Kolkata, head to the clown dance show straight from Mexico. It's the story about three vagabonds in search of happiness. You can catch it November 24th and 25th. Mumbai, watch the best of the hot up-and-coming comedy talent from all over India at the Canvas Laugh Club from November 16th to the 20th. Bengaluru, Allianz Francais Bengaluru is featuring its annual Twani Festival. This year, the theme is Rithi, a journey through the black and white era. Visit that November 20th at 6.30 p.m. Chennai, November Fest is this weekend, November 17th to the 20th. It's a journey of music that takes you across genres like Bollywood, contemporary rock, and Hindustani classical Jugalbandi. It's at Music Academy. If you want us to feature your event on On Art, then email us at onart at ndtv.com and you might just see your upcoming event in this space. We'll take a quick break and when we're back, We'll hear from artist Chaitna Verma about her all-black artworks. Don't go anywhere, On Art will be right back.